We're back with Crime Scene Kitchen. Please let me in. It's an all-new season with all-new surprises to challenge the skill of all-new bakers. This time around, six teams of classically trained bakers go head-to-head -head with six teams of self-taught ones. What is happening this season? Who will win in the end? The bakers with fancy degrees or those with really fast internet speeds? Oh. And if you're frightened of change, I'm gonna throw up. Relax. I'm the same old Joel. Oh. This is the Crime Scene Kitchen, where we combine humanity's two loves, baked goods and criminal investigations. Oh my gosh, no. There's something in the food processor. Pears, oranges. Using only the clues left behind in this kitchen, they must figure out what was baked here. It's lime curd. It could also be a da croix. Hey, brioche got... donut. Then recreated in a nerve-wracking race against the clock. Big, big, big. 30 seconds! Joel, you're giving me a heart attack. The right decisions get them closer to winning $100,000. Make the wrong moves, and they'll have to buy their bus ticket home. Oh! It's all in the fine print. <gasps> Mine is raw. I'm so frustrated. More drama, more pressure, more dramatic lighting effects. Although I was really hoping this season Fox would spring for some fire cannons. Get ready, America. This is Crime Scene Kitchen. Okay, rolling. Three. One, send in our self-taught bakers. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is bananas. We're finally here. I mean, like, we watched the first season. It looked incredible. Fatty and I met. It was just instant friendship. And we baked together ever since. I was an attorney for almost 10 years. And I'm a circus performer. I love that. And he's very talented. More than just two moms from the Midwest, right? There's a lot more to you. We're more than just two moms from the Midwest. <laughs> back there. Yeah, you Thank like you. it. Are you having yes. such a hard time not laughing at us? Both of our husbands are in the military, and we bought a bakery together. We want our kids to, like, think they got the most rad moms in the world. <laughs> this is my daughter, Christy. I learned to bake from my mother, who was self-taught, so I'm not sure everything I have is correct. I'm just kidding. <laughs> The kitchen is my happy place. I entered my first baking competition in second grade. That was for the moms, and I totally blew the moms out of the water. Sorry, not sorry. What gets me up in the morning sometimes is just like me wanting to bake this pie. We're driven, we're passionate, we're here to win this. Welcome to Crime Scene Kitchen, the baking competition that rolls mystery and butter into several thin layers and then turns up the heat. <laughs> this season, two different groups go head to head. It's classically trained bakers versus self-taught bakers. And next week, the Fancy Pants classically trained bakers will have a chance to show off. Halfway through the season, teams from both sides will merge. Tonight, we start with you guys, the self-taught bakers. Behind me is the crime scene kitchen. An exquisite dessert was created in there, but it's gone missing. And it's up to you to sniff out the clues left behind and recreate the mystery dessert as best you can. The only ones who know the identity of that mystery dessert are our judges. She's an extraordinary cake artist, baker, YouTube star, and a little handsy with the fondant, Yolanda Gamp, ladies and gentlemen. Seeing Yolanda means so much to me because being self-taught, I've definitely modeled a lot of my cakes after her. I've also learned to have fun in the kitchen like her. And he has a barely convincing Australian accent. Michelin star awarded chef, Curtis Stone. What's up, guys? Curtis Stone, Lord, yes. help us. Yes, honey. Is he better looking in person than he is on TV? Can we say things like that? Yes. <laughs> 
There are two bakes tonight. This season, it's more important than ever to win the first baking competition of the night, which is our safety bake. Because whoever wins the safety bake skips the elimination bake, where missing just one clue could get you sent home. Each week, one team will be eliminated. Don't worry, I'm not in charge of the math. <laughs> Until we end up with our best team of baking detectives, who will take home $100,000. As military families, we are not financially setting the world on fire. So winning the money would mean the world to our families. But first, it was Yolanda who decided on the Safety Bake mystery dessert. You'll have two minutes inside the crime scene kitchen. All the clues will be the same for every team, just like in a real criminal investigation. Davian and Donovan, start your search. Each team will take turns going into the crime scene kitchen. All right, let's go. Time to invest that bake. Yo, it's some heavy cream right here. We got a mixing bowl. We got a whisk attachment. We have a dish here. We got a pie dish. When I see the wet pie dish, I know it has to be a pie. It has to be a pie. We got a zester right here, man. Lemon zest. And it looked like it might have some lime zest on here, too. Definitely something citrus. That's lime? Yeah, that, that's green. This is lime. It is lime. I see a bowl next to the zester, and it has a custard in it, and it smells like lime to me. Egg whites were not used. Custard is lime curd. OK. Nothing in the freezer. Oh, there's a lime okay. pie. Key lime pie? Key lime pie. Key lime pie. Key lime pie. Key lime pie, yes. There's a compost over here with lemons and egg yolks. Lemons and egg yolks, so yeah. like lemon curd? I think it's a lemon curd. This is very lemony. Oh. Very lemony, and some eggs are used. OK. We have the lemon curd. Oh, yeah, that smells amazing. Super lemony. The mixer and whisk in the dishwasher. I think we're making, like, a lemon meringue pie. That has to equal lemon meringue pie. The big question is, what is the crust? There's a food processor with crumbs in it. This could be graham cracker. There's graham crackers. Is it open? But they don't look open. Oh, this is like for a crust. Processors used, and we got some crumbs inside. There's something in the food processor. I see inside the food processor that there are crumbs. Looks like a cracker crumb. Looks like saltines. I know it's a saltine cracker, but in my heart, I'm just like, that makes no sense. Smell this. It smells like saltines. Oh, yeah. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, God. OK, OK. Oh, God. We gotta hurry up. We got to hurry up. Spices don't look used. This doesn't look used. It's some sort of a lemon pie. What kind of crust is this? Oh, graham cracker crust. There's graham crackers here. OK, what else? What else? That is time. Go to your kitchens. We got this. Bakers, you'll now have two hours to recreate the mystery dessert. Whoever gets closest will be safe and automatically move on to the next stage of the competition, avoiding the elimination bake altogether. Okay, okay. 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 So what did you see? What do you think we're making? I mean, there's lemon. definitely a lemon curd. If we win safety, it will be a huge relief just to not have to worry about the first elimination. Are you guys going to lose it? No, we're not going anywhere. That's not up for discussion. In the food processor, it looked like it was sandy. Which I'm like, what? So do you think it's a graham cracker crust, lemon meringue pie? I don't know. Because there was a lemon curd, some type of crumbled base, a pie plate. We go to lemon meringue pie, and we're figuring graham cracker crust. We might be wrong, but it's going to be delicious. Yeah. I've never felt so nervous in my life, so it's fine. Maybe will we do better okay. if we pretend like we're at home right now? Mom, mom. Get me a drink. And we're like, don't get out of here. Hannah oh. and Kathleen. Come on, we're we're panicking over here. You're panicking and Joel walks in your kitchen. Yep. I am like really struggling to like get oxygen. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm, a, I'm like a little bit fangirl star struck See? right now. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Joel McHale. I like fangirl. I like used to watch The Soup every night before bed. I like can't believe he's standing next to me. First time in my life I didn't have a whole lot to say. So what are you making? A lemon chiffon pie. Right. Why in the world did you think it was a lemon chiffon pie? 
because we saw the lemon juice, the egg whites, the egg whites in the fridge, okay. and we're gonna put the whipped cream on top. There was the zester, the lemons in the trash. We are making a lemon chiffon pie with a flaky pie crust topped with whipped cream and lemon garnish. A chiffon is like a cream pie. It has the meringue folded, folded into, into the curd. Oh, I yeah. hope lemon chiffon pie is right. Okay, guys, it's gonna be fine. Okay, your hair looks awesome. Thank you. <laughs> They had the graham crackers out, but those food processor chunks like did not look brown enough to be oh. graham cracker crumbs. Oh. I was looking in the food processor. I saw a little crumb of what looked like a saltine cracker, but I've never heard of anybody using a saltine crust for like a sweet pie. I don't know. It sounds mm. kind of funky to me. I believe I've seen the recipe before for this, and it was called a boardwalk saltine pie. I had a phase where I literally went to the library and took out all of these cookbooks that I couldn't afford, and then I would take it to work and use the big copier and just copy recipes. <laughs> So we're making a boardwalk pie, which has a saltine cracker crust, lemon curd with whipped cream, garnished with lemon and lime zest. It's so out there. Little sugar. This is traumatizing. I'm thinking key lime pie. We are making a key lime pie topped with whipped cream because we saw a zester on the counter with lime zest on it, and it had a smell of lime. Where are the graham crackers? There were graham crackers on the counter, so I'm sure that it's a graham cracker crust. It needs to be a fine powder, hun. Really? Christy, why you gotta question me on everything? One hour left in the bank. One hour, you should already be sweating into your batter. Damn, I haven't got my workout in for the day, my good brother. Davion. Donovan. Hey, hey, what's going on, man? My favorite guy. <laughs> oh, you already won. What are you making? A citrus curd pie. And it's going to be really good. What Don and I are making is a flaky, buttery pie crust filled with lemon and lime curd topped with whipped cream. Do you guys cook a lot together? We definitely aren't strangers together in the kitchen at all. We're stepbrothers. We're stepbrothers. Oh, all right. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Inglewood, California. Inglewood, California. Inglewood is a family-oriented city, and at the same time, Inglewood is still the inner city. There's gangs where there's violence and things like that for us to be sitting here, and we're about to have a python bag in our hand. It's like <laughs> a hate. tremendous thing. We got this. 100,000. You got to say it loud and proud. Winning the safety bake is really important because the winner sits out of the elimination bake and immediately advances to the next stage of this competition. And we're looking to see who gets closest to the mystery dessert. You really have to scrutinize the tiniest of clues if you want to be the winner. I think that if it was not a pie crust, it was a graham cracker crust. Graham and lemon is not super, super like. I know, graham doesn't do it for me. Today we're making a traditional pie crust with a lemon chiffon filling, and we're going to top that with lemon zest. I feel very confident, even though we're both technically self-taught pastry chefs. Tori and I met while we were working together in a restaurant. The fact that we now own our own bakery, I think, is a pretty important thing. First day I met him, I knew I was going to marry him. The feelings weren't mutual at the time. <laughs> I will slap you on camera. <laughs> okay, my curd is definitely starting to get very thick. You good? Yes, ma'am. 30 minutes left. You want to um, stir while I try to get that right? If it makes you feel better. It will. Just keep stirring it. Don't let it burn on the bottom. When you're cooking custard on a stovetop, you have to let the custard do its thing. You can't rush it. Did you turn it up? I think my elbow touched it by uh -huh. accident. There's brown pieces in here. I did not burn it. But you, you did. Look at that. That didn't happen while I was stirring it. You turned it up. It's burnt. We got to start over. Lord, please bless this pie. You were just supposed to stir the custard. I didn't turn it up. It didn't do it by itself. When I was working under my mom, I got fired every other day. Next time, don't touch it. Yolanda, you set the first challenge. How are the teams doing? I'm really impressed with how they're working together. All six teams have made citrus pies, so we'll be looking at who got the most details right and who got closest to the mystery dessert. In this season, the first bake is all about safety. So if they've guessed right and they've executed nicely, the best team will skip the elimination bake and move straight into the next stage of the competition. 
Tarsha and Christy burnt their curd, and now I'm really worried about their time. But they're the only team making a lime pie. If they're the ones that have guessed it correctly, and key lime pie is the actual pie, they're in a really good spot. With the crust, some of the bakers are making a traditional pastry, like Hannah and Kathleen, Davion and Donovan, and Michelle and Tori. But some of the bakers are making a graham cracker crust, like Fatty and T, and Tarsha and Christy. We're absolutely putting it in the freezer. Yeah, just to give it some time to set. And Cherry and Steph are the only ones making a crust out of saltine crackers. Nice, beautiful. Love your crust work, as always. They're making a boardwalk pie, which is actually better known as an Atlantic beach pie. The danger of them picking a saltine crust is they're the only ones, so if they're wrong, they won't win safety. I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little <laughs> bit anxious. Moringa's done, Moringa's piped, Moringa's torched. One minute remaining, one minute! Oh! <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, and that is time. Time's up. Time to be judged. <laughs> Tarsha and Christy. If we win the safety, then we get to sit out in the next round. We don't have to stress like we're stressing now. <laughs> key lime. They made a key lime pie. Do you think it could be Hello. Look at that. What have you made us? Key lime pie. With a graham cracker crust and whipped cream on top. Oh, we did a graham cracker crust. What was it that led you to believe you needed to make a key lime pie? On the zester, we thought we saw lime. I think it's a beautiful presentation. Why did you choose to make a graham cracker crust? We saw graham crackers we on saw the counter. Graham crackers. It's a beautiful colour, but what's nicer than the colour is the way it tastes. The curd is divine. I just wish there was a nice solid crust underneath. If it is the correct dessert, you could be safe. Curtis, yes. could you keep it down? I'm eating. <laughs> Tori and Michelle, please bring us your dessert. Oh. Oh, that's a beautiful crust. We have made a lemon chiffon pie. Lemon. It has the appearance of a homemade pie. You guys are self-taught bakers, so that's what's to be expected. And what clues led you to make this pie? We saw what we thought was a lemon curd that was made in the kitchen. We saw the lemon zest on the zester. Tori, how did you come to this crust? We saw it in the food processor, some sort of pastry crust in there. The filling is light airy, lemony. It's delightful. I maybe want just a little more complexity, but it's very, very pleasurable to eat. Let's go. <laughs> so, let's hope it's a lemon chiffon pie. Then you could have a very good chance of winning safety. Davion and Donovan. This is intense. I'm nervous as ever going into this tasting. <gasps> you like lemon pie in this? Look at this. A citrus curd pie. Yep. Why did you choose to call it a citrus pie? The zester had lemon, and we flipped it over. We saw that it had lime underneath, so we wanted to make sure that we incorporated both into the dish. Lime and lemon. So do you think that they made a pie crust in that food process? I think so. Yes. We did see graham crackers, but it did not look like the graham crackers I were think. crushed. It cuts quite nicely. Your crust is quite lovely. I do think your filling could have been a bit thicker. You got it. This is a good pie, but it's not a great pie. But what matters most, is it the right pie? Fatty and tea. I want to win safety so bad. To have that moment to just breathe and not have to be in the elimination bake. Oh, how pretty. What is this? We have made for you a graham cracker crust lemon meringue pie. We went with the graham cracker crust because we saw some sort of crumbly bits in a food processor. The crust is very firm. Do you want a jackhammer? <laughs> I'm trying for you here, guys, but you're not making my job easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you've <laughs> bent my cake fork. That 
is a good curd. It is one of the best curds I've ever eaten. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Just don't know if it's right. A million percent. Hand on Kathleen. Mm. Look at that. We have made a lemon chiffon pie with a flaky pie crust and whipped cream topping. Oh my gosh, could it have been a butter and flour crust that we mistook, saltine? Whoa. Ooh, OK, OK. Yes. Yeah. It's a very light pie, and the crispness of the crust is very good. It has a lovely tart flavor. The crust is nice and crunchy. But part of me wants just a thicker, more luscious filling. Hannah and Kathleen, if you guessed right, you could be the ones who win this all-important safety bake. Cherry and Steph! What is that? Is that graham crackers or pie crust? Cherry and Steph, what did you make? We made a boardwalk pie. We used lemon zest and lime for garnish. The crust is actually made out of saltine crackers. Excuse me? Saltine I looked in the food processor, and when I sniffed it, it smelled more savory. And I saw a little piece of a cracker with some ridges on it, which looked like a saltine cracker. Where the heck did a saltine cracker? Did you see saltine crackers? Will this crust hold up? Mm -hmm. Guys, did you put this pie in the freezer? Yes. The cream is frozen in a big lump. The cream's so cold that it really distracts your palate. You know, it's very hard to enjoy that lovely, luscious texture. The interesting thing about this competition is it isn't just about your baking skills. It's also about detective work. So if you've baked the right kind of pie, then if you're the only one that's done it, you're probably safe for the elimination challenge. We thought it, things were going to go a lot smoother than they did. I'm just hoping we've just presented the right dessert. The tasting is done. Let's reveal the crime scene kitchen dessert. Welcome back to Crime Scene Kitchen. Here's where things stand. There are six different takes on the citrus pie, each with different fillings and different crusts and handled with different fingers. Whoever does best coming closest to the mystery dessert is safe and automatically advances in the competition. And that dessert is hidden inside this display of smoke and lights that we like to call the Confectionator 3000. <laughs> Let's reveal the crime scene kitchen dessert. I really hope it's a lemon chiffon pie. Bring the smoke on. I'm ready to see. If it's not a key lemon, just change it. Just put my pie just in Just put it. our pie in it. <laughs> Loved. What? What is that? It is an Atlantic Beach pie. <laughs> it has a tangy lemon and lime filling with a saltine crust topped with whipped cream, lemon, and lime zest. It's a saltine crust. We're the only people that use saltines in their crust. I'm only human. I'm a baker, not a detective, apparently. Yolanda, can you explain how our contestants were supposed to figure that one out? The glass dish in the drying rack suggested a pie was made. Check. The squeezed lemon in the compost and the zester with both lemon and lime zest suggested it was a mixed citrus filling. The bowl of filling smelled of both lemon and lime. While graham crackers were present, there's no evidence they were used. On closer inspection of the food processor, you should have noticed the remains of saltine crackers. I just assumed graham crackers, because that's what made sense in my head, and I'm like... I definitely didn't see saltines. The saltines, lemon, lime, and used whipping cream should have led you to the Atlantic Beach Pie, otherwise known as Boardwalk Pie. The winners of the Safety Bake are... Cherry and Steph.
Congratulations. <sighs> Thank you. You're safe. You automatically advance in the competition, and you do not have to compete in the elimination bank. You can now head off safely. So relieved that we don't have to go through the elimination challenge. I don't think my heart could handle it. <laughs> for the rest of you, it is time for the elimination bank, where your next level skills will be put to the test. The worst team in the bank will be eliminated tonight. This mystery dessert was decided by Curtis. Bakers, the crime scene kitchen is now open. Two minutes on the oversized clock, please. Hannah and Kathleen, start your search. Each team will take turns going into the crime scene kitchen. Come on, Hannah. Here we go. We can do it. One team at a time. They'll each have two minutes to examine the same clues. OK, we got a cake pan. That smells like batter. Yeah. In the sink is a cake pan that has batter in it. And there's only one. Right. So it is not any kind of large layered cake. Maraschino cherries, melted butter and milk, pineapples. I mean, that's pretty used. What kind of cake would you use pineapples? So I see the pineapple rings and the juice, and it's clearly been used. So we have pineapples, maraschino cherries, and butter. That, to me, is a strong indication of a pineapple upside down cake. Olive oil was used. Olive oil, there's brown sugar, regular butter. I think we're making some type of cake. There are only a few things that come to mind when I think of olive oil. Olive oil cake. Hummingbird cake, it could be bro. a hummingbird cake. There's pineapple. pineapple. It's garnished with maraschino cherries. Those are the elements of a hummingbird cake. Smell that. What is that? OK, a blood orange. This is red. Oh, yeah, there's blood oranges everywhere. OK, so we're definitely blood oranges. There's juice here. It smells like orange, and it's red. It's blood, blood orange. orange. Okay. Okay, blackberries. Blackberries are used. Look, look, well. look. This one's used, that one's not. OK. Oh, what is that? I don't know, but I think the blood orange zest is in there. Oh, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, oh, God. Oh, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Brown sugar, white sugar. You check the freezer? Yeah. Three, two. One, that is time. That's time, thank you. Head to your kitchens. I finally find the garbage can, and I see what I think is the bottom of a lemon that's cut off, and then time expired, so we couldn't inspect it anymore. You'll now have two hours to recreate the mystery dessert. I feel like we've missed something. If we missed something, it could send us home. OK. Uh... OK, you have two hours to make what you think is the mystery dessert based on the clues you found in the crime scene kitchen. The team who is furthest from the mystery dessert will be eliminated. We got two hours. We better figure something out. I saw pineapples. Yes. Maraschino cherries. You thinking hummingbird cake? I'm thinking a hummingbird cake. That makes sense. Oh. For this elimination bake, we're making a hummingbird cake. There's pineapple, pineapple, olive oil. A classic hummingbird cake, those elements are Absolutely. in there. Absolutely. I hope we right. We ain't going to know. However, I still have some reservations. Yeah. Are all the elements of a hummingbird cake prevalent inside of that kitchen? Maybe I'm just playing tricks on myself. I don't know. Please tell me you've got a fantastic I do, idea. I actually do you have do an OK have idea. You do have a fantastic idea. Do have, OK. My brain was stuck. I'm like, there's only one cake pan. I'm thinking it's a blood orange upside down cake. <laughs> Don't you think? Good idea. We've decided to make a blood orange upside down cake garnished with blackberries. With an upside down cake, you put the fruit on the bottom of the pan with your batter on top, so when you flip it over, the fruit is embedded in the cake. OK, this is your last chance. Are we using pineapple at all? I say no. We saw the blackberries, and we wanted something to represent what the cherry would in a pineapple upside down cake. If we're not going to put pineapple, I don't see why we would put cherries. Okay. Do they mean? Right. Oh, look how pretty that is. Do you see the juice that comes out of this? Yeah. This is the same color that was on the board. I see purple juice that was just like what was in the crime scene kitchen on the cutting board, and it made me think, we're just going to go with the blood orange upside down cake and pray to the gods or the judges, whichever one will get us out of the elimination, <laughs> that is correct. I don't have any faith in this whatsoever. It's OK. I don't I'm need be you sick. to be negative around my cake again. <gasps>
Well, 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 well. Hey, Papa Joe. Hey, look, we're back again, guys. Oh, my God. Except the stakes have never been higher. And by the way, I love steaks. <laughs> what are we making, guys? So we're going to make a blood orange zested pineapple upside down cake. We know there's blood orange used. We are positive pineapple rings were used. Are you more confident or less confident than last time? I would say less, TBH. I would say we are more confused. <laughs> yeah. I can't be confident about anything after the last round, so I'm terrified. So now, T. Talk to me. You are in the circus. I'm a trapeze artist. You're a trapeze so artist. anything that hangs from the ceiling is my jam. And you can do all the flips and stuff. All the flips and stuff. How are you applying your circus skills to the bake? Well, in circus, you are constantly problem solving because if you make a drastic mistake, someone dies. Well, last year we had someone die. Oh, so sad. 90 minutes remaining, 90 minutes, plenty of time left to choose a new path in life. The only thing we're definitely nervous, babe, is about the fact that you saw lemon in the garbage and I did not see lemon in the garbage. Uh, what are you guys doing? Did you want to make something? Uh, it's like the elimination round. We definitely want to make something. What are you thinking about? We are thinking it is a citrus blood orange upside down cake. Okay. It we're hoping that our citrus upside down cake with homemade brown sugar caramel, blood oranges, and lemons is the cake that's going to keep us in this competition. The biggest problem that we're running into with the lemon is the fact that I'm not 100% that that's the fruit that was in the garbage can. I mean, if we saw something nobody else saw, that would be a benefit if we get it right. Just don't want to go home. <laughs> one hour left, one hour. So I'm going to take a bubble bath. You guys keep baking. Okie dokie. Get a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. OK, get her in the oven. Baking under the pressure of elimination is extremely difficult. You're trying to remember all the clues that you saw, and you're on a clock. You're thinking to yourself, this could be my last bake in this kitchen, and nobody wants that. Think we got this? I know we got this. It's a cake. We can do a cake, man. We can do a cake. We can do a cake. Oh! I didn't see cream cheese, and that's the icing that goes with a hummingbird cake. That's true. So maybe it's not a hummingbird cake. That's true. I'm just thinking, like, what if it's a pineapple upside down cake? That's one pan, though, isn't it? Yeah. And it's pineapples, and it's cherries. Bakers, you now have 45 minutes left. Hurry! I don't want to make you panic! Scratch the hummingbird cake. We're not going to do the hummingbird cake. It doesn't have all those elements that we saw. I don't feel really confident about that. I feel much more confident about it being an upside down cake. We're going to switch it from a hummingbird cake to a pineapple upside down cake. Do you have a recipe for that? No. It's make or break time for our teams in the dreaded elimination bake. I need like five, seven more minutes on that cake. Great. Amazingly, all our teams are making upside down cakes. Wouldn't it be nuts if the mystery dessert turns out to be a breakfast burrito? Cake in, oven closed, timer. I think we got it. I think we made the right swap and the right choice. I think so too. Curtis, you set the challenge. Since they're all self-taught bakers, do you think they're at a disadvantage compared to the classically trained bakers? I think when you're classically trained, of course, you have all of those skills kind of built in. That said, Yolanda is self-taught, and she can do stuff that's way more technical than I can. It really depends on the individual. Look at Cherry and Steph. In the last round, Cherry seemed to know so much about baking that they're not making anything right now. That's right. That knowledge alone saved them from this elimination bake. OK. What? How's it feel? Jiggly inside. OK. Hannah and Kathleen keep opening and closing their oven. As soon as you open that oven, you lose like 30 to 40 percent of the heat. You stand to undercook your cake. I just wish that they'd have the confidence to leave that door closed. It does feel like jiggly inside. I think it's done. As a chef, that moment when you turn that cake out, it's that moment of truth. All right. You pull up that tin and it either looks perfect mm -mm. or not. I'm kind of feeling like it's a little plain. I want to add something to give the wow factor when we pull it from behind the thing. We saw whole butter, we saw a whole stick gone. We know that there was butter used, so maybe we can pipe some buttercream on there. And what we'll call it is maybe we'll just say it's infused with our glaze. That's why you the decorator, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's so important is everything you put on and in your dessert, you have to truly believe there was a clue in the crime scene kitchen that brought you there. All five teams are making their version of an upside down cake. 
but each team is using different ingredients. How does that look? I actually like that. If buttercream is part of the mystery dessert, Davion and Donovan, they're the only ones doing it. Yep. Why don't you just say what the mystery dessert is, and then we could all go home. We like torturing you. Nice work. One minute and 15 seconds! Oh my god, Joel. Don't be stressed out! Come on. Okay. You've had more than enough time! Okay. It's the elimination bait. Like, this has to be as perfect as possible. You're gonna stand by it. At least we know it tastes good. Might be okay. It's better. Yeah. Three, two, one! Prepare yourself for sweet, sweet judgment. Okay. Take your glove off. You look like Michael Jackson. I doubt that we got it exactly right, but I'm just praying we got close enough not to be eliminated. Oh, Cherry and Steph, please join us to watch the tasting. They look so happy. Fatty and tea. They did pineapple upside down. Was that jar of pineapple open? We have made for you a pineapple upside down cake with blood orange zest sponge. Guys, what made you think that pineapple was one of the primary ingredients? You saw the jar with not a full stack of pineapple rings. The cake is incredibly moist. It almost feels like a steamed pudding. It really is a beautiful cake batter. Thank you. Fatty and tea, if the mystery dessert is a pineapple upside down cake, then you could avoid being eliminated. Thank you. Tarsha and Christy. Wow. We decided to make a upside down blood orange cake. Maybe they just messed the pineapple. We saw blood orange juice on the cutting board. We saw blood oranges next to the cutting board, and I saw some in the compost. You know, the piece on the outside here is just so delicious. I'll tell you what, guys, if the mystery dessert is a blood orange upside down cake, you are looking real good. We have made a blood orange upside down cake garnished with blackberry. Blackberries, what? What clues in the crime scene kitchen led you to make us this dessert? We saw the blood orange, and we did look in the fridge, and we thought that the blackberries might have been used. There is a problem with the consistency. I hope for their sake that is the problem. Yeah, it doesn't look done. Mine is raw in the center. It's raw. It's raw. I'm devastated. I did not want that cake to be raw. You guys opened and closed the oven quite a few times. You're gonna underbake your cake. Take a deep breath, make a little prayer, because you have to really hope that this is very, very close to the mystery dessert. We don't want to go home. Our first raw cake we baked on national TV. <laughs> I'm an ugly guy. Michelle and Tori. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. We have a citrus upside down cake with blood orange and lemon. And lemon. Why blood orange and lemon? Tori thinks that he saw lemon in the garbage. I did not see it. I thought it was a lemon in the garbage. If he's wrong, will you hold it against him throughout your marriage? I mean, the lemon's very pleasant. It really is. It brings a brightness. The crumb of the cake is beautiful, and I also love the yellow color of it. Davion and Donovan. We definitely saw a lot of butter in there, so we created a buttercream that we just iced the top of our cake with. Oh, it's so pretty. Damn. Gentlemen, what have you made us? Our version of a pineapple, blood orange, orange, upside down cake. You can't do an upside down cake and then frost it on it. Guys, I look at this, and I don't see an upside-down right. pineapple cake. I don't see the caramelized layer, and of course I don't see the fruit. Yeah. 
If I close my eyes, I think I'm eating a hummingbird cake, which I really like, by the way. Mm -hmm. You're actually the only team that hasn't made an upside down cake. And the only team that did the pie that was salty and crackers, they won. What specific clues in the crime scene kitchen led you towards making a buttercream? Well, there was butter in the kitchen. I hope we're right. This has to be the cake that's closer than anybody else's. Yeah, or we could really be going home, bro. The elimination bake is over, and the tasting is done. We have sacrificed so much to be here. We don't want a raw cake sending us home. Reveal the mystery dessert. I'm praying right now that I'm not going home. Welcome back to Crime Scene Kitchen. Here's where things stand. Four teams gave us four different takes on an upside down cake. And Davion and Donovan baked a pineapple cake with American buttercream. Whatever it is that comes out of here, I'm hoping that there's buttercream on there. Confectionator 3000, reveal the mystery dessert. <laughs> My heart's like beating so fast. An upside down cake topped with caramel, oranges, and blood oranges. <laughs> Thank you, God, because we just pulled that one out, I swear. There was absolutely no limits. So we were very. <laughs> We are one of the only two teams <laughs> that did not make a citrus upside down cake. So yeah, we're uh. a blood orange orange upside down cake. Me. Curtis, walk us through the clues that should have led the bakers to this. Here's how they should have gotten that answer. Though many fruits were present, there were no signs that the pineapples were used. That jar of pineapples will haunt me till the day I die. 100. The remnants of blood orange in the compost and navel oranges in the trash, along with the stains on the cutting board, told you only blood oranges and navel oranges were included. The cake tin in the sink had remnants of caramel in the bottom, a clue that today's dessert was inverted after baking, leading to an upside down cake. OK, guys, who fell short tonight? On balance, the team that performed the worst in this elimination bake and who's going home tonight is... Davian and Donovan. I'm sorry, guys. And what you baked was actually delicious. But unfortunately, you were just nowhere near the mystery dessert. The name is Crime Scene Kitchen, and I think that we got the clues a little too wrong. Yolanda, you're everything to me. Thank you for being you. Thank you so much, guys. A big round of applause for Donovan and Davian. <laughs> These tears are not tears of sadness. I'm just happy right now that I got to do this with my bro. This was the most bonding experience that we've had since we've became brothers. And Max. I wouldn't change it for the world. Facts. I wouldn't change it for the world. Facts. All right, you guys and our safety bake winners, Steph and Cherry, have all survived. You have next week off so we can challenge the other group, your competition, the classically trained bakers. Good night, everyone, and please enjoy whatever show Gordon Ramsay's hawking after this. Right on, you guys. Scene Kitchen, Don Family.